Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about Vital Tantra and the topic for this video is Vital Tantra Core Practices. As I was speaking with a friend yesterday, I realized that um, I actually I don't have a given set of core practices. You know, the field of uh, Vital Tantra, the way I define it and the way I experience it is an unlimited field of possibilities. It means that within that field, I have been focusing personally on a specific set of practices, but the, the, you know, the possibilities of um, this uh, vital Tantra energy and inspiration is really unlimited. So what I'm going to give you now is some of the core practices that I'm using personally, but uh, those practices are evolving a lot, okay? It's not like a fixed set in terms of the techniques, in terms of the length, in terms of the intensity. It depends also on the period of, of um, time, uh, depending on the month, depending on the situation that I'm in, depending on the environment, depending on the people who surround me. So I'm just going, going to give you some, some hints, okay? Uh, Vital Tantra right now is divided in many branches. I have 30 to 50 different branches and some of them are vital force, you have vital sex, vital relationships, vital mind, uh, vital body, vital food, you have uh, vital money, vital spirit, uh, vital men, vital women, vital parents, you know, all these different branches express the fact that you have different aspects of your life that you want to master and the ultimate goal of course is life mastery which means a certain sense of optimization and mastery in all these different aspects of your life if you are a very rich person you know with lots of money and lots of wealth and a strong uh, material power base then uh, maybe you score really high in the financial independence but maybe your body or your mind might not be that strong or maybe your relationships are in a mess or maybe your sex life is not that interesting so the goal here is to gain a sense of uh, mastery in all aspects of your life so that you score high in uh, everything that is important to you so let's refocus back on the possible practices okay the best place to, the, the the best place to start when you start with uh, Vital Tantra is really energy techniques. It means that in the energy techniques I have a few things that I practice which are really the core. So it has to do with breathing techniques. Like you saw me using a lot of the fire breath which goes simply But the fire breath can evolve in breathing in and out through the, through the nose, slowing down, concentrating your, your, your life power and force with a different type of breathing, which is a little bit inspired by the martial arts and goes like... So you have an unlimited possibilities of uh, breathing techniques as well. So uh, breathing techniques, activating uh, dynamic uh, breathing techniques, then you have the mantras, Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya, Kali Jaya, for instance, and you have again dozens of possible mantras, and then you have the shaking practices, and then different types of movements, uh, the Shaktisanas, and so on. So uh, this is for the vital force aspect, and the goal of vital force is really to optimize your energy body, to activate your energy body, and of course it concerns your physical body as well. Eventually the activation of your energy body and optimization of your energy body starts tapping into uh, your mind as well and clears your mind and creates a sense of emotional freedom. So this is for the vital force. But for instance, if we focus now on the vital sex techniques, for instance, then there is going to be a lot of techniques that are based on building a connection with your partner. And they might involve eye contact, they might involve uh, you know, breathing together, very soft touch, different movement, different dances, using certain mantras, like for instance, the mantra Shiva Shakti Kali um, Kamayama, Shiva Shakti Kamayama, which means simply the, the play of male-female dynamics, archetypes, and uh, adding to that uh, quality, the sexual mastery dimension. So, 
as you can see, it goes in all directions. It's very vast. It's an unlimited field of possibilities. Very often, when you when you arrive in a spiritual tradition, there is going to be a set of rules which are given. You have to dress in a certain way. You have to repeat certain words a certain given of, uh, amount of time. And with Tantra, um, you know, right now, I really enjoy the fact that it's vast, it's open and free, and I don't feel the urge. Uh, to crystallize it right now. Maybe the moment where I will have the, the need to crystallize it is the moment where I want to simplify to the extreme so that I can really reach lots of people with these uh, techniques and practices. And of course, if you are in the you know, comfort of your home and you never heard about these things, you would like me to give you maybe a set of, okay, here are the 10 core practices that you can include in, uh, in your life. And uh, I might, uh, you know, do that very soon. For now, it's still this field of possibilities. You know, I'm a little bit like in a uh, close to the ocean, and there is this vast, vast space, and um, it's uh, unlimited, uh, unlimited for now. So um, I might not uh, answer yet the, the final question that uh, that you would like to have. So what is it? You know, that you can categorize and you can really finalize in a set of uh, simple practices. For now, it's uh, let's uh, consider it being a field of unlimited possibilities and. Vital Tantra is not fixed, so it's evolving all the time. It's a spirit which is incarnating itself right now. And uh, yeah, what I'm saying today might be something very different than what I might say uh, two, three, four, five, ten years from now. Okay, so stay within that frame, flexible, open. You could recreate your own system too. So yeah, this is the, the, the mindset with which I function right now. Have fun. I'll be back soon. Bye bye.